YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Cody G. The new meta sweeping the Madden universe is the D line light ups where you have three to four X factors lit up for most of the game on your D line. It's been basically making defense stupid easy to do. Fact. We're going to go through what players I have on my D line that have it. And then we're going to go play a game to show you how OP this is and explain to you why you need it on your team. As always, man, like the video, sub to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell button so you're notified every time we drop a new video. If this video gets 50 or more likes, I will pick a random commenter down below to get a $10 gift card to whatever console they play Madden on. Let's get into it, baby. Here's my team. I'm not by any means saying my team is OP as fuck, okay? Um, but I am sticking with the Super Bowl chems. Obviously, I know I do need a new wide receiver, but Debo is good. Uh, McCaffrey's a beast. Dougie Williams still, in my opinion, number two. If you haven't yet, check out my top five quarterbacks in the game. Um, the reason why my team's looking like this is because I make the content I do. A lot of rerolls, and that usually means a lot of losing coins. If I didn't do the rerolls I do for content, I'd probably have upwards of three to four million. Damn. Um, but yeah. So this is the squad. Offense not great. The defense is where the money's at. Um, especially right now with the meta. This is what I was talking about in the intro. Warren Sapp, Mata Beast, and Karloftis all lit up at the start of the game. Karloftis and Warren Sapp are lit up the whole entire game. They both have lighted up tokens on. And Mata Beast is for 10 possessions at the start and at half. This just makes playing defense extremely easy. I will show you in some gameplay footage. It is nuts. Um, I'll show you what we got on both of them. We have just unstoppable lighted up and inside stuff for one. And on Curve Loss, we just have unstoppable uh, that gets lit up on Mata Beast. And then Karloftis, we have Colossal lighted up. Demoralizer, El Toro. The reason why I've picked these two is because zero AP. I have a lot of my um, other AP on my safeties and uh, my two outside corners and my two slot corners. I run a lot of dollar. If you want me to do a video on my defense and my scheme, let me know down below. I'm not a pro. This is what I like to run. It's science. Nice. We can still do Super Bowl past. That's awesome. Still make some coins. I think tomorrow is when they take it out of the game. So when you're uh, watching this, it's probably already out of the game. But all right. Uh, that's got to be a glitch. Here we go. That's a that's a big time top three. But... And I'll let your dome trust you. I'm going to shoot. It's uh we're returning first. I wanted to show you the defense because it's going to be crazy, but that's fine. That's okay. We'll return first. We'll get a we'll get a quick score, um, and then we'll make them quit. I told you, what did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cause I told you. Just like that, man. Just like that, man. That shit's easy. All right. Why he, why he let that happen? I don't know. Obviously he didn't let it happen, but goddamn. Oh shit. just kicked it okay here we go baby this is this is the opness of what we're about to do the opizzleness dude you don't want you don't want to uh you don't want this is gonna piss anyone off that has to play this Oh, 
<laughs> Look at how many guys are fucking just coming after him. Uh... So obviously running will help you out. Running will help you out. Um, but yeah, just passing alone is going to be uh, a an issue for a lot of players. Running alone is going to be an issue. Right. Oh, no. That's my bad. That was a pick. And I got one question for you. Chew doing. But as you can see, that was terrible. <laughs> that was terrible on my part. Um, as you can see, not a pro. Never said I was a pro. Basically, having the three lit up defensive linemen gives them no time at all. They're going to throw stupid passes. We'll get a pick here soon. They're going to have to throw short, which is what it is, you know? See? Too easy. Too easy, bruh. Too easy, bruh. I think we have, um, we're going to have either Debo. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go, Debo. Yeah, we, we can't get rid of Debo, man. He's too good. He's too good. He's only our only good receiver. He's our only good receiver, bro. All right, back on defense to show how OP this is. Basically, they have to make their decisions a lot faster. Usually will result in a pick. Um, I like to have pick artists on both my slot corners so that you're um, basically so it's it's easy pick pickings all day. He, I don't think he's going to try to run out of this, but he could. It's like you just have no time. Yeah, no, you have no time, boys. Especially if you press. See? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, dude. I feel a little slimy. I feel a little slimy. I'm not going to lie. I feel a little slimy. I'm, I'm not going to lie, but it's hilarious at the same time. It's hilarious at the same time, bro. There's no way he goes for it, right? So, we're going to get a sack here. I guarantee it. And uh, he's going to quit. Like, his, his uh, O-line actually did a really good job blocking that, to be honest. They did a really good... Yeah, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, dude. I told you guys. It is drastically OP. You gotta have these X factors on your D-line. If you do, you're gonna win a lot of games. As always, man, like the video, sub to the channel. Let me know down below what players you have those X factors on. And if it's helped you win, win some games. Catch you on the next one. Peace!